YouTube is a wonderful place. Anyone can upload any kind of content they want, sharing their thoughts, feelings or opinions on the site. Anyone is entitled to their own opinion. Hello Blazers, no focus. For example, you can find really intellectual clips of Morgan Freeman talking about ending racism. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism and stop talking about it? And on the other hand, you can find Pokemon Go songs for kids. I'm back. I play Pokemon Go every day. I play Pokemon Go. I play Pokemon Go every day. I play Pokemon Go. I play Pokemon Go every day. I play Pokemon Go. I play Pokemon Go every day. I play Pokemon. So as most of you understand at this point, YouTube hosts a huge variety of content. Most of it's shit, but still a variety of content. Now there's something very dire I wanted to address today, something that I've made multiple videos on in the past, and honestly, I thought me addressing it would make the problem go away and vanish, but it's only grown stronger and stronger and stronger. <laughs> yeah, boy. And of course, I'm talking about those fucking toy channels. Now most of you are probably thinking, Pyro, why do you want to make yet another video on these toy channels? You've literally ran the well dry at this point. There's nothing else to be milked. Well, honestly, you're absolutely right. Uh, keep, shut up. And secondly, it has been milked dry. There is nothing else to talk about. But one thing has came up recently, thanks to my subreddit, rpyrocynical, something has been brought to my attention. A channel called Toy Freaks with a video titled Bad Baby Victoria Cut Annabella hair, makeup fail, toy freaks, has racked up over 30 million views in the space of four days. Now, any kind of video getting 30 million views is a fucking achievement, congratulations. But in four days, in four days, no one you know gets that amount of views consistently. PewDiePie, Leafy, Vanos Gaming. Vanos Gaming. All these channels do pretty well, racking in sometimes millions of views, but Toy Freaks is something different. Pretty much every single video they upload gets about 10 million views or more, so there's definitely something going on behind the scenes. On top of that cash cow as well, they have a second channel called Freak Family Vlogs, where they vlog about their daily lives, and that channel as well, also racking in millions of views, Per video. So allow me to add some clarity to the situation by showing you these two channels' estimated earnings. Wake me up, wake me up, it's okay, wake up, wake me up, it's me. Don't you just love this world? The fact that your parents or grandparents or any kind of family member, they all work their ass off probably doing some kind of 9 to 5 job while these people record shitty little skits in their house and make millions. Isn't, isn't the world just fucked? Also, just as a side note, the second channel, Freak Family Vlogs, features a fair amount of videos putting the girls under some kind of stress while their dad records and laughs at their pain. And the best thing is, all of these videos are readily available on a playlist that the creator has made, so you can see every single video where Annabelle cries her eyes out. Now, if you haven't picked up on it already, most if not all of these vlog videos are faked. I mean, why would you have two girls dressed like that in the bath? It doesn't make any kind of sense. But even if they are skits, why would you record someone and pretend them to be under some kind of extreme stress? I really don't see any kind of comedic value in that, and remember, 
these videos are actually put under the comedy category. So again, uh, the Freak family, their definition of comedy is really skewed. Yeah, because looking into a small child's bloodied mouth while she's crying, easily the best form of comedy. I love how the top rated comment is, bless her with four crying emojis. She needs some milk. So with Toy Freaks racking in so many views, millions upon millions, like I said, some videos racking up tens of millions, it's obviously quite suspicious and some people would believe that they're using some kind of viewbotting program. Now, unfortunately, I can't talk too much about viewbotting. Firstly, because it'd be extremely boring. And secondly, there's a lot of detailed information to it and a lot of ways of viewbotting. I mean, one really basic example would be someone emailing a website, buying fake viewers to plunge into that video, giving them some kind of fake viewership. Now, some of you may think that view botting is pointless because all it does is inflate the video with fake views, views that aren't going to earn you any kind of money because they probably don't watch the advertisements on your video. But the thing is, with having a high amount of views on your video, it starts this kind of snowball or domino effect, I guess you could say. Like, for example, with Leafy, Leafy's videos just rack up more and more views because the thing is, we think in our heads, if a video has more views, it's more trusted, I guess you could say in a sense. If you had two videos next to each other, no matter what the titles or the thumbnails, chances are you click on the one with more views. Now, of course, I don't have any proof that Toy Freaks are view button. You know, it's pretty hard to get an incriminating email saying, lol, give me views, please, at scamgmail.com. But by clearly looking at the ratings on the video, it's really quite suspect. The comments as well, like, for example, one of their videos reached over 10 million views and has only 24,000 likes. I get more likes than that in a video and I know I do ask for them and asking for likes does increase the number by an insane amount. If, if any of you haven't already you should definitely ask for people to interact with your video. It really does boost yourself. And when I mean interact with the video, please tell them to interact with it after the video. You know I've seen a lot of YouTubers ask for a like before the video's even started and that's absolutely retarded. Oh excuse me, could you bloody like my video before even seeing if it's worth watching or not? Thanks. And this is basically a world map of Grand Theft Auto 6 and how it's going to set up and everything like that. This would be a really awesome thing to happen. And I want you guys to leave a like on this video if you would like something like this. But a video this viral should have some form of engagement. Now, you do have viral videos that don't really have any engagement, much like a Facebook video. Someone would watch it and just not interact with it and leave and only the views counted. But... It should be a higher ratio than this. I mean, the dislikes are pretty high, 15k, but the likes or dislikes should be a lot higher. They should be 50, 60, 70,000 at least. 20,000 is way too low and looks incredibly suspicious, almost like they're inflated views that haven't interacted with the channel. So in conclusion, Toy Freaks upload some uh, unique content. I, I guess you could say it's unique from really redundant unfunny skits to recording children in pain. There's quite a lot to view on the channel, something for everyone. And if there's genuinely nothing for you to enjoy on this channel, then you might as well go watch the Pokemon Go song for kids. When I wake up, I'm grabbing my phone. But on a more serious note, guys, thank you all so much for watching the video. Thanks again for all your support. Be sure to drop a like, or if you did enjoy the video, dislike it. Asshole. <laughs>
Who is this man? How, how did you get... 